that a very unsettling event would happen soon. The next number in this segment is the number five. The segment is called S15IS. In the month of April 16, 2007, I recorded this intuition story in my dream book. In April 16, 2007, I woke up from my sleep, and for no reason I shouted out something bad had happened today. The next number in this segment is the number six. The segment is called S16IS. In the month of August 16, 2007, I recorded this intuition story in my dream book. In August 14, 2007, while I soaked in a tub of water, I began to sense something terrible would happen. Again, my intuition suggested to me that a great cataclysmic event would take place soon where many souls would be taken off the earth. My intuition then informed me that this cataclysmic event would take place on my side of the planet and that this coming event would be quite noticeable. The next number in this segment is the number seven. The segment is called S17IS. In the month of August 20th, 2007, I recorded this intuition story in my dream book. While I meditated privately, I began to cry very intensely. The sad feel I felt was more powerful and more emotional than the other things I picked up in my spirit. This feeling I had was more poignant than my 9-11 and tsunami intuition. This new intuition had revealed to me that something personal was about to happen and that this personal event would affect my family. The next number in this segment is the number eight. The segment is called S18IS. In the months of 2007 and 2008, I recorded these intuition stories in my dream book. For almost two years, I told my family and friends that one day you guys will wish that white man was still back in the White House. The next and last number in this segment is the number nine. The segment is called S19IS. Somewhere in the latter part of 2008, my intuition hinted to me that Hillary, would, Hillary Clinton would be in the same dining hall with Obama, that she will re-emerge after the New York primary on the same stage of power with Obama. The next letter in this section is the letter M. This is section one, letter M. There's one dream in this segment that begins with the letter M. This segment is about mobs of people who have gone wild. The first number in this segment is the number one. The segment is called section one, one mob dream, or S1, one MB. In the month of September 7th, 2004, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I had another terrible dream that showed me mobs of black people rioting in the streets of America. And in this dream, I seen in broad daylight black individuals raping and killing one another. The next letter in this section is the letter P. This is section one, letter P. There's two dreams in this segment that begins with the letter P. There's one dream about Pope John Paul II, and there's one dream about Pope Benedict the 16th. The first number of this segment is the number one. The segment is called Section 1, One Pope Dream, or S1, One PD. In the month of February 26, 2005, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt I stood on a line somewhere in New York City, and then I heard someone say something to me. I believe I heard a man say something about the Pope. Then I heard the same voice who had just spoken about the Pope say, The Pope will die, and after the death of the Pope, Rome will then reveal the Antichrist. The next number, the next and last number in this segment is the number two. The segment is called S12PD. In the month of January 26, 2008, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt that I was in a familiar lobby, which I've seen before. Then I exited this lobby and I walked out onto the streets. While I went to the streets, I quickly noticed a great deal of white people who all wore black clothing. These people I've seen also jammed the entrance of St. Patrick Cathedral. I felt I was on Fifth Avenue. I also noticed St. Patrick Cathedral was crowded inside, and outside of this church I see multitudes of cops and people. The next letter in this section is the letter R. This is section one, letter R. There's one dream in this segment that begins with the letter R. This dream is about a Russian submarine. The first number of this segment is the number one. The segment is called section one, one Russian dream, or S1, one RD. In the month of April 3rd, 2003, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I had a dream that featured some kind of trouble at sea. In this dream, I seen a large Navy ship flip over, and I believe sailors may have drowned in the ocean. This dream disturbed me. Also in this dream, I seen a group of men all look like they were military people. I witnessed some men being rescued from out of the waters, and I noticed a man who wore a black uniform, and incredibly, my eyes beheld a black bear who stood beside this man in black. The next and last letter in this section is the letter 
I'm sorry, uh, I do have a drawing of this uh, particular dream when I see the Navy vessel uh, ship flip over inside the ocean. You can see there. And then also, uh, before I left this dream, I seen uh, military men uh, being rescued out of the waters. The next and last letter in this section is the letter T. This is section one, letter T. There's three dreams in this segment that begins with the letter T. There's one dream about the Twin Tower Superblock. There's one dream about a proposed Twin Tower substitute. And there's one dream about the Twin Tower aerial attackers. The first number in this segment is the number one. The segment is called section one, one Twin Towers dream, or S11TB. In the month of July 3, 1990, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt I stood beside a shadowy figure and this shadowy figure and I fashioned our gaze upward, and our upward gaze fell upon a very huge wall that appeared to me to be four walls in one. This wall was tall enough to reach into the clouds. And I have a drawing of this dream. Uh, at first, it looked like one wall, but before I left this dream, um, uh, it also looked like uh, there were four walls merged into one. And there's me at the bottom pointing up to these walls, and I'm standing next to this shadowy figure that I've just spoken about inside the street. The next number in this segment is the number two. This is this segment is called S12 T D. In the month of July 25th, 1990, I recorded this dream in my dream book. During all the dreams I had so far, I can truly say this dream was the strangest. I dreamt one day I was with my brothers, Tazo and Anthony. We were on top of a metropolitan roof that overlooked the city. Anthony stood on my left, and I noticed Anthony appeared to enjoy the view. And then I noticed Tazo, who appeared on my right. Tazo smiled as he sat upon a two-legged ladder. As for me, I can only say, after I looked upon my brothers, I then placed my hands over my face because I was so afraid of the view which was around us. But what I seen before I covered my eyes were the Twin Towers and this futuristic building that faced the towers. This futuristic building was taller than the towers. And then I beheld this dark spiral cloud that quietly hovered between the towers this future and between the futuristic building. Then suddenly the roof floor beneath us began to buckle. And I have a drawing of this particular dream. As you see there, this is me uh, feeling quite afraid of the stress roof. This is my brother Anthony and that's my brother Tazo. Here is the Twin Towers. Uh, all this is gray mist clouds around the towers. And also here is the futuristic building I've been spoken about. You can see there. And here's a spiral cloud which uh, stood or uh, hovered between this futuristic building and the Twin Towers. The next and last number in this segment is the number three. This segment is called S13 TV. In the month of March 5th, 1992, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I believe I had a two-in-one dream. This first dream was about the Twin Towers, and I believe the second dream was about a future invasion into the United States, which I will speak about in section two of Paris Future Prophecies. In the first part of this dream, I once again beheld the World Trade Towers, and right away I seen several individuals outside in front of the towers. These individuals held their face fixed upward, and I noticed their faces displayed a look of shock. I too looked upward, and I quickly discovered why these individuals displayed a look of shock. From now, my eyes beheld three planes that slowly flown over the skyscrapers. And without warning, sheer terror began to engulf the whole area around the towers. Now I decided to fade out from this nightmare because I knew very well I could easily have a heart attack in my sleep from the fear that suddenly descended upon this place. And I have a drawing of this dream. 